Well, the Durham Bulls welcoming Andrew Jones to the D-Bat, maybe trying to change their fortunes and snap a seven-game losing streak on Wednesday night against Gwinnett. I'm Patrick Kiedis for Durham Bulls Daily, and this is where you come to get all the scores, highlights, other nuggets, the morning after every Durham Bulls game. You can subscribe on Apple and on Spotify, and you can watch this mini pod on our YouTube channel at Durham Bulls TV. Well, with Andrew Jones in attendance and on the broadcast and doing a meet and greet with fans all through the course of the day, the Bulls trying to break that seven-game skid, grabbed an early lead, 3-0 after three innings. Logan Driscoll hit a homer in the second. Austin Shenson, after a huge game, Shenson goes four for four with two home runs. The first one came with a man on and two outs in the third. That gave the Bulls a 3-0 lead. Drew Rasmussen opened for the Bulls on a big league rehab for the Rays. Went one very good inning. Then turned it over to Mason Montgomery, who pitched very well. He went four plus. His first four innings were terrific. He only allowed one run, but he came back out for the sixth. First two batters reached. Michael Gomez then entered. A lot of bunt single, then a bases, a lot of walk. And by the time the dust settled, four runs had scored. And the Stripers had taken a 5-3 to three lead. And it frankly looked like the Bulls were maybe going down to defeat again. But into the bottom of the eighth, still trailing 5-3. to three. Tristan Peters drew a leadoff walk. After a pitching change, Junior Caminero singled off of the monster. That would bring up Shenson, who was already 3-for-3 three three with a home run at that stage, coming up against Domingo Gonzalez, representing the go-ahead run. 1-2 pitch, and Shenson smokes one. Right field and deep. Back goes White, and it is gone! And the Bulls have the lead on Shenton's third two-homer game in two weeks. 6-5 Bulls in the eighth. That home run by Shenton would cap a 4-for-4, two-homer, five-RBI game, putting the Bulls up 6-5. Justin Cerner came on to try and nail the game down, but allowed a two-out game-tying single to Luke Waddell in the ninth. That made it 6-6, and the Bulls... Losing streak was still live, but in the bottom of the ninth inning, the Bulls finally claimed their first win in almost two weeks. Jake Mangum on the very first pitch of the ninth inning sliced a double into the left field corner, then went to third and a wild pitch. And he was there with the infield and with nobody out. Logan Driscoll smashed a ground ball at a drawn-in shortstop Waddell for the first out. But then Bob Seymour with the infield still in, Mangum still at third, came up to send the fans home happy. One, two pitch, and Shenton smokes one. Right field and deep, back goes White, and it is gone! And the Bulls have the lead on Shenton's third two-homer game in two weeks. Six, five Bulls in the eighth. Bulls win it seven to six, their first win since July the 11th. Sterner earns the win, he's two and four. Shenton goes four out of four, a double, a single, two homers, and Shenton drove in five of the seven Bulls runs, and Durham finally gets to experience the exhilaration of a win. Third game of the series will come up on Thursday night. The Bulls will start Jeffrey Springs in what is widely expected to be his last Major League Rehab start for the Tampa Bay Rays. 6.35 first pitch as the Bulls take on Gwinnett. Once again, this is Durham Bulls Daily. I'm Patrick Keenis, Bulls beat Gwinnett. Seven to six.